has, uh, has informed everybody who works there in the Florida Bay, they cannot use the, uh, the land, or rather, they can't use the water uh, because there's a government shutdown. When you saw that, what did you say to yourself? It was extremely frustrating. And the fact that professional guides that work in all of our national parks are required to have insurance, to required to have so many things that they actually rely on just for ourselves without park staff, it's very frustrating to not be able to go in and use a national park. Absolutely. Okay, so, uh, so the government has said uh, charter guides like you, you can't take anybody in. How is this going to affect you financially? Well, it, it's, it, the bottom line is the numbers are big across the country. Um, some of the stuff I pulled off the website um, from the National Park was basically small businesses and the infrastructure that they support. It's $75 million a day that's being lost to small businesses in revenue from the fact that National Parks are closed around the country. And let, let's clarify, this isn't just that professionals can't use the park. You, as an American citizen, cannot go into the National Parks right now. Not without a, I'm talking about not without a guide. You can't get in your car and your boat and go. And, and we're talking about 800 square miles, and we've uh, put up a map that uh, details what we are talking about. You're talking about some, some guy in, uh, in the Keys can't get in his boat and go fishing. No, and it's, it's not just affecting professionals. Of course it is. It's affecting restaurants, people that make sandwiches, local businesses. It's affecting people that go to work every day during the week and use the national parks to take their children out to go see the wilderness and go see the wild areas that we still have left in our country. Ameri sure. Our national parks are an American heritage. It, absolutely. Uh, they're landmarks. We should be able to go ahead and enjoy them. We don't need somebody standing right there uh, to make sure that we're not uh, vandalizing anything. I, I don't know what anybody's going to vandalize out in the ocean, but, but here's the thing about it. Uh, they are patrolling, and you told me during the commercial break, they actually have more people working now than they did before the shutdown to make sure nobody fishes. To make sure that nobody has accessed the park, yes. And, and I want to stress that this really isn't on a, on a level of national parks as far as their superintendents. The Net, Florida Keys Net Fishing Guides Association has built a very good relationship with the, with the superintendent of Everglades National Park and Biscayne. This is coming from way up the chain of command. And I'd like to, a quote was, uh, that, that I really appreciate is when, in 1903, when Teddy Roosevelt dedicated the arches at Yellowstone National Park, he said, the parks are for the benefit and the enjoyment of the people. It is extremely frustrating to know that Congress is getting paid, that they figured out a way to pay all the furloughed government employees right now, but yet you and I, me as professionals, and all of our national parks can't go out and make a living. Because those government employees who are furloughed will eventually get their money, but you are losing a day, and that you will never get back. Uh, Temper, professional day. fishing guide. Uh, tough story. Thank you very much for sharing it. Appreciate it, Steve. All right, 20 minutes now after the top.